The sand has memories. Memories of our past, when gods walked this world, and our heroes stood amongst them. But the gods' vanity grew, and in their struggle, we were cast away. Only remnants of these stories remain in the sand, in the ruins of this shattered, broken world. Even in ruins, we endure. We won't let go. For now, we can stand for ourselves. And face... gods. In the crux of reality, there exists two lies. One before the shadow, and one behind the eye.
ask questions. What is it that actually exists? Where does the origin come from? Where are we headed to in the end? If you feel confused, just reload your gun.
The Expanse is obviously one of those universes that has a ton of opportunities to tell great stories. One of the things I'm super excited about is the zero-G stuff that we've been doing. A big part of when we're making the game, not only are we thinking about the characters, we also have to think about how can we evolve the genre in any way or that will make players excited to be part of this universe and feel like they're engaging in something rather than just being a passive audience member. You'll figure something out. I know you will. It's actually been a really interesting thing as an actor to explore some of her more vulnerable sides that by the time we meet her in the series, they've been cauterized. <laughs> Because this score, Drummer, this is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. You'll need me if you want any chance of unloading it. The craziness of an uh, exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass, you can move them on. And balancing that out against almost like you're excavating the story, that's a personal story. Those are people, those are characters, and you are now among their ghosts. Whatever they were doing right before they died, being a scavenger, pretty dark job. We're really excited about how it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing until now. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. Personal log, sentient contact assessment and response team. Kate, we have an issue. What happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion. Leave immediately! This area is now under TDR jurisdiction! They think there was a vault key being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDR does, we can change our lives. We're bad at this, like really bad. TDR 
has many guns. Talking guns. Guns with legs. I'm gonna blast you so freaking fast! <laughs> Shut up, Richard! <laughs> I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! But more importantly, we'll be drowning in ash! Why are you people like this? If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh, yeah, don't worry about them. of war united and began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. For some forces, even death cannot end. But now, eons later, the fallen god's influence pervades the world again, corrupting even sworn enemies. Join his accursed lords of the fallen and damn humanity to a new age of devastation. Though from these darkest days, new heroes arise. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our only hope.
depends on the choice you make. Truth. Or lie. in the darkest of times. All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Five people, three must pay a price. You are not one of them, Jin Yuan. Genjo is in danger. This man, he... The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. The more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. If either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the Headmaster immediately. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. 
The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. None of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. What do we do now? It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Crucio! You've made your choice. Two of you done! Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. That's why Gotham City is still here. It's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. I've seen plenty of criminals in my career, but nothing could have prepared me for this. Well, well, if it isn't Brat Girl. Gotham City is at her weakest. There's blood in the water, and the sharks are circling. They're all making their move. Play nice. But we aren't going to give up. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it! <laughs> See you at the premiere. I need your help. Your skills. Your knowledge. Your adaptability. You got my back? This biopic is based on a true story. My story. Soon, the world will feel the cold as I do. I got one last little surprise for you. Come to watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. <laughs> Pre-order now and get the 233 custom Bat Cycle skin. Let's go! 
to the city and join the deadliest spectacle of this season. I'm gonna tell you a story about a species that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis, Homo rhodesiensis, Homo erectus, all of them wiped out by the deadliest species of all, us. I am Astrid. This is the new arena, and my advice for you, stay alive. Every day you fight for survival. But today, you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. Let out the beast. PlayStation. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters. Sora and Yaga. You got it all wrong. What? Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Stop it! You can't hide from Baba, Princess. I'm... How much longer you want to be a nobody? I, I just need to find the Red Oak. What you really want to find is... What the hell is wrong with this forest? <sighs> Not bad. You kill it. You kill it again. <laughs> if anything bad happens, Always head straight to the Red Oak. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer.
Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. gone. 